Welcome to the channel. I'm Tony, the technician. Today, we're going to be going into the Home Depot website and checking out some of their Black Friday deals for some of their tools. So we're going to go over some of the power tools and then we'll go over some of the hand tools. We'll try and make it quick. I'm not going to go over everything. If you see something that you think is a great deal, make sure to drop it down in the comments. If I don't go over it, I'm not going to go over everything. Here they have a DeWalt battery pack for $200. You get the 6 amp and 4 amp. It's kind of similar to the Lowe's deal. Lowe's has two 5 amp hour batteries for the same price. Then you get a free gift with the purchase. This you're just getting a 6 amp and a 4 amp. So really it depends on what you want. Two 5 amps or a 4 and a 6. And then as far as tools, honestly Lowe's actually has more offerings than what Home Depot has. You can get probably upwards of 30 different options from the Lowe's deal so that might be worth checking out this is still a good deal and they do have a couple items that Lowe's doesn't have on here so it, it all depends on what you're actually looking for battery packs are usually some of the best deals going on also keep in mind that these Black Friday deals are getting harder and harder to find those fantastic deals with prices going up in the last few years uh, a lot of these deals are th deals that you'll see throughout the year not just on Black Friday a lot of Ryobi and Makita stuff. Honestly, I don't use this stuff. I don't have much experience with them. Like, I can see that this is a pretty decent deal, but once again, I don't know how reliable Ryobi is. So it all depends on if you run that lineup, is it worth it? Uh, the free gift with purchase, there you can see the different tool options. I have a lot of experience with a lot of different brands, but Makita and Ryobi just aren't those brands. <laughs> This one's not a bad deal at $300 down from 330 Not a huge savings there, but you do get a free gift with purchase as well. This is going to include an impact driver, a drill, a charger bag, two batteries, and a free tool. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Rigid's got the same kind of thing going on. They have a 6 amp hour and a 4 amp hour battery for their 18 volt lineup at 179 down from 327 Not normally at the 327 but still a pretty decent deal at 180 and you get a free tool. There you can see some of the different ones. Milwaukee with their 18 volt lineup. I run the Milwaukee 12 volt lineup. Absolutely love the items that I've you know, purchased from them. Great lineup. 18 volt is also very popular. Here's their battery set. This is a set of batteries, both of them five amp hour batteries. And then you're going to get your free tool as well. A lot of these going on here. And then what they have, you can get an additional five amp hour battery, the inflator, a dual battery charger, the rapid charger, circular saw, oscillating tool, leaf blower, angle grinder, router, reciprocating saw, jigsaw, impact driver, light and a wireless job site speaker so some decent selections there these are the times to buy the batteries because batteries for almost all brands are quite expensive that's two batteries with a charger as well and then the free tool they're going to have very similar ones down below as well here's a the atomic drill for 99 dollars down from 160 with a battery and charger in a bag that's not a, a bad deal 150 you get an additional battery included with the impact driver as well two two amp hour batteries this ryobi set for 279 over here you're actually getting two free tools with your purchase i don't ryobi i mean i've heard decent things i guess it really depends on the field that you're using this in whether it's diy or construction or what you're using it in i've heard very mixed reviews on it and it also depends on what part of the lineup that you buy but 279 uh, 280 for this half inch high torque impact with two four amp hour batteries to me ryobi a lot of the stuff just looks so bulky and generic like they're so far back on their design some of the rigid stuff as well while rigid does have some really good stuff i don't know just like the base reminds me of like the old dewalt like what was it the 18 volt stuff from like early 2000s here you have a pretty decent deal it is 500 a little bit pricey but it's still a good deal. You get a free gift with purchase. You have the circular saw, a hammer drill, a light. I hate when they throw those lights in. A charger, two power stack batteries, 5 amp hour, and a 1.7 amp hour. So here you actually get to select two free gifts. So you got your, and don't forget to select them. Leaf blower, circular saw, angle grinder, router, jigsaw, oscillating tool, or reciprocating saw, half inch impact, impact driver, hammer drill and the six amp hour flex volt battery and you can select two of them so for five hundred dollars i think that's a good deal 
Here's a set of Milwaukee batteries. Not a huge savings here. It's 280 down from 300, but you do get a good selection of batteries for your 18 volt lineup. Here's the same thing for the M12 lineup. A six amp hour, a four amp hour, and two amp hour battery for 179 down from 319. I don't think that ever actually sells for the 319, but still a pretty decent deal. We'll go through just a couple more and then we'll get into the hand tools more specifically. This is actually the toolbox that I have, and I haven't actually seen it at this price in a long time. This is actually what I bought my box for. This is the 52 inch flat black toolbox from Husky, and it's been fantastic. I've overloaded my bottom drawer, but it still does just fine. Uh, the little chrome black trim around the edge, like this one, like it, they're just held on by like a 3M tape. So like after a year or two, like this one just, I'd come out in the garage and this one would be just kind of hanging off. And I just stuck some 3M tape back there, worked just fine for about another year or two. Then it fell off. I got sick and tired of it, threw a self-tapper on the side of it and called it good. It's all purely cosmetic, nothing to do with the function of the box or anything like that. Back in the day, there were a couple different variations of this, not in layout. Obviously, there's a lot of different layouts, but the locking mechanism, there were two different ones and... One of them was garbage, and one of them was good. This, as long as this is the one, this looks to be the the good locking mechanism. But overall, I've really enjoyed the box. Plenty of space. You got a magnetic back here. You got two power strips up in the top of the box with two USB ports on each side, four outlets, I believe, on each side. Locking top, locking privacy drawer over here, and then the bottom is fully lockable independently from the top. You got a large, wide drawer and then you can see it's split on the bottom and eight hundred dollars i think is a fantastic price for this i haven't actually seen it at this price for a very long time so it's definitely a box that i would consider i haven't been disappointed in mind here they got some of the milwaukee pack out for 220 down from 400 some of these pack out items can get very very expensive so especially for the milwaukee pack out is probably one of the most popular pack outs uh, I think this is a good price for all of these included. It's not a bad price on the rigid shop vac for the 16 gallon 5 horsepower. $500 for the DeWalt tough system with a bunch of power tools, angle grinder oscillating tool, impact driver drill, circular saw, orbital sander, two batteries, and a charger for $500. But let's go ahead and get into hand tools. $100 for this 43 piece set isn't terrible uh, a lot of the milwaukee hand tools i love their power tools a lot of the milwaukee's hand tools are only a good purchase when they are on sale this one's an okay deal then you'll constantly see little drawer socket sets like this from all the brands that offer them husky craftsman cobalt there are a lot of brands that offer layouts like this some of them filled with a bunch of junk a lot of filler items some of them pretty decent it all just depends on what you're going to be using them for do you need 100 bits for your bit screwdriver or can you find one for this price range that doesn't include a bunch of the filler a little bit more difficult usually a little bit higher than 100 but i think it's worth paying the extra to not get all the filler stuff with it here's not a bad deal 56 pieces 100 dollars down from 189 i always think these socket sets are overpriced definitely not paying 189 for them i can pay 145 for the dewalt 192 piece set i think it is and fantastic quality worth swapping out the ratchets just because the ratchets are heavy in that set but overall you're getting a much better selection you get bit sockets included a bunch of extensions um it's more than just three eighths and uh, just a much better set so at a hundred dollars it's a decent deal Honestly, a lot of the, the deals are going to be on like power tools, bit sets, like the little DeWalt and Milwaukee bit sets that you get in the little cases, and then tool sets like this. These Those are going to be the things that are primarily on sale. A lot of these others, like it's not going to be huge savings or anything like that. $500 for the flex head rashing wrenches from Milwaukee for both sets, $250 a set. It's, uh, it's a little high. It's a little high. The gear wrench set at $200 doesn't seem like a bad set. It doesn't seem like they've overstacked it with a bunch of bits. You just have a few rows. Like the Cobalt, you get a set this size. You're looking at probably 100 or more bits included. You just get two racks of Allen keys, which is perfect. 
that's all you need some of the sets include five or more sets of out like ridiculous amount you got some nut drivers for your bit driver here's kind of how the drawers are laid out but you do get a set of ratcheting wrenches from both now when it comes to gear wrench ratcheting wrenches i do like to get my hands on them just because gear wrench sometimes has some fantastic ratcheting wrenches and then sometimes they have some garbage ratcheting wrenches they have ratcheting wrenches coming from so many different places like it's, it's ridiculous it's hard to keep track of the good ones and the bad ones i always try and search for the taiwan ones over the china ones because honestly there is a difference and it is sometimes a very big difference but i don't think that's a bad deal for this size set here's just your standard combination wrenches from milwaukee for 200 dollars down from 260 dollars. here is 153 piece set this is going to include all three drive sizes three separate socket sets for 400 dollars down from 530 dollars the Husky 144 position ratchets for $45 down from $50. These are always handy to have if you have an impact driver and you don't have these little socket adapters. Having them in both short and long can be handy. $8, very affordable. See, like, this is what blows my mind. Because this one is in a pack out, it is $30 more. And you're getting a 31 piece set versus this 86. I would rather buy this 86 piece set, throw it in a five gallon bucket, than pay the extra money to get a set that's a third the size that's ridiculous i'm not paying 220 dollars for a third of a socket set so that's just something to keep in mind some of the milwaukee stuff can be very tricky and people will pay this because they see it's down from 250 but when you can get a whole milwaukee set and even at this this is a, a decent price for this socket set i would much rather buy this set than some of those milwaukee ones because it doesn't include a, a bunch of filler you get your Allen keys, and I've had these for, I don't know, eight years. Fantastic Allen keys. Haven't had any issues. They're just what you need, not an overkill, uh, not a bunch of random bits thrown in here. You get a decent selection of bit sockets. You get a decent selection of shallow and deep sockets in quarter-inch, three-eighths, and half-inch drive. The only thing I got rid of were the ratchets, not because I had issues with them, just because they were bulky and they were heavy for 154 this is not a special buy. That's just what the price should be. Find this between 150 and 190 on Amazon all the time. So this at 220, don't buy it at 220. Then they got the Husky set in, you know, your foam liners. I think uh, Cobalt also has ones just like this. But uh, some of these can actually be really good deals. You got a lot of sockets included in this one. Uh, but once again, this one does include 91 of the Allen keys and bits. So it does have a lot of filler, but it also looks like you get a good selection of shallow and deep sockets as well at 170 down from 250. So just keep in mind, that's all we're going to go over for today. There are definitely some good deals going on and definitely some not so great deals and tools that just aren't worth it, whether they're on sale or not. So just do your research, check multiple places, places. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts on some of these deals. Or if you saw other deals that are worth a mention, drop it down in the comments. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.